The Lost Valley of Echo's Lily, Max, and their new hedgehog friend Pippin embark on an epic adventure to discover the secrets of the Lost Valley of Echo's. When they stumble upon a mysterious ancient map, they must work together to solve riddles, outsmart mischievous creatures, and bring harmony to a magical valley where Echo's hold the key to forgotten magic. This heartwarming, adventurous bedtime story for kids will spark imagination and teach the value of friendship, bravery and teamwork. Lily loved finding adventure in the most unexpected places. Her auburn curls bounced as she raced over the green fields of her village, her eyes sparkling with curiosity. Today she was excited because Max, her best friend, had invited her to explore the attic in his grandfather's old cottage. Max always seemed to find the most amazing secrets and today they both had a feeling that something incredible was waiting for them. The attic was dusty, full of old trunks and smelled of time-worn memories. As they rummaged through boxes filled with ancient trinkets, Max suddenly gasped. He had found something beneath a pile of old yellowed maps, an old leather-bound scroll, tied with a ribbon and sealed with a wax emblem shaped like a crescent moon. Lily, come look at this, Max called, his voice filled with excitement. Lily knelt beside him, her eyes wide with anticipation. Together, they gently untied the ribbon, breaking the seal. The scroll unfurled, revealing a beautifully drawn map. It showed the enchanted forest and a place neither of them had ever seen or heard of before. The Lost Valley of Echoes. Max's finger traced the delicate lines that led from the village, through the forest and into the unknown. This valley, it doesn't look like anywhere we've been he whispered. Do you think it's real? Lily asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Her heart pounded with excitement. The idea of discovering a lost place was more than she had ever imagined. Max looked at Lily, his eyes bright. There's only one way to find out. We need to go there. They packed their backpacks with snacks, water, a flashlight, and of course, Lily's favourite blanket, just in case they needed to make a fort along the way. As they stepped outside, Pippin, their small hedgehog friend, scampered over to join them. He squeaked happily, looking ready for another adventure. The enchanted forest was as beautiful as always. Soft golden sunlight filtered through the leaves, and the air was filled with the scent of pine and wildflowers. The trio followed the map, stepping carefully over twisting roots and crossing over sparkling streams. The deeper they ventured, the quieter the forest seemed to become, as if it was waiting for something. Hours later, they came upon a clearing, and there, hidden behind thick vines and leaves, was a large stone archway carved with mysterious symbols. Above the arch, the words Valley of Echoes were etched in delicate script. They exchanged glances. This was it. They had found the entrance to the Lost Valley. Lily stepped forward, brushing her hand along the carvings, and a faint humming began to fill the air. The archway glowed softly, and the vine started to recede, revealing a path beyond. The valley opened up before them, Unlike anything they had ever seen, towering cliffs surrounded them and the air shimmered as if filled with magic. Strange flowers glowed softly in shades of blue and violet and everywhere they stepped their voices echoed back at them, repeating their laughter and words in soft melodic tones. Hello! Max called, his voice bouncing back at them, but it wasn't quite his voice. It was softer, more musical. The echoes had their own life here. This place is amazing, Lily breathed, her eyes wide as she took in the beauty around her. As they walked further into the valley, 
the echoes began to grow louder, almost as if they were trying to tell them something. Pippin's ears perked up, and he scurried ahead, sniffing the ground. He led them to an ancient stone at the centre of the valley, covered in runes and surrounded by a circle of glowing mushrooms. Look at this, Max said, kneeling beside the stone. He traced his finger over the runes. It looks like some kind of riddle. Lily squinted at the carvings. It says, to awaken the magic, speak the truth of your heart. The truth of your heart, Max repeated, puzzled. Pippin squeaked and hopped onto the stone, his little nose twitching as if he understood. Lily smiled, kneeling down beside him. Maybe it's about what we feel, our wishes, our dreams. Max nodded thoughtfully. He took a deep breath and said, I wish for this valley to be filled with laughter and joy again, like it once was. Lily placed her hand on the stone. I wish for the magic of this place to return, so everyone can see how beautiful it is. Pippin squeaked and nodded, as if adding his own wish. The stone began to glow, and the runes lit up one by one. Suddenly, the entire valley seemed to come alive. The flowers glowed brighter, the cliffs shimmered, and the echoes around them turned into gentle songs, filling the air with music. It was as if the valley itself was thanking them. From behind a nearby tree, a small creature emerged. It was no taller than Pippin, with large ears and bright eyes that sparkled like stars. It bowed deeply to Lily and Max, its tiny wings fluttering. Thank you, travellers, it said in a soft, melodic voice. The magic of the valley was fading, and only those with true hearts could bring it back. Lily's eyes widened. Who are you? I am an echo keeper, the creature replied. I watch over the valley and protect its magic. For many years, the valley's magic was forgotten. But your kindness and your wishes have awakened it once more. Max smiled. We're happy we could help. This place is too beautiful to be forgotten. The echo keeper nodded. As a token of gratitude, take this. It held out a small crystal, glowing with a soft blue light. This is an echo crystal. It will allow you to carry the magic of the valley with you wherever you go. Lily took the crystal gently, feeling its warmth in her hands. Thank you, she whispered. The echo keeper smiled and fluttered its wings. May your hearts always be full of wonder, and may you always hear the magic in the echoes. With that, the creature disappeared into the shimmering light of the valley. The echoes continued to sing softly, and the valley seemed to glow with happiness. Lily, Max and Pippin made their way back through the archway, the echo crystal glowing softly in Lily's hand. As they stepped back into the enchanted forest, they turned to look at the valley one last time. The archway slowly closed, the vines wrapping around it once more, as if protecting its secrets until the next travellers came along. We did it, Max said, his voice filled with awe. Lily smiled at him, her heart full. We did, and we have the magic to prove it. Pippin squeaked happily scampering around their feet as they made their way home. The sun was setting, casting a golden glow over the forest, and they knew this was a day they would never forget. As they reached the edge of the forest and saw the lights of their village twinkling in the distance, Lily looked at Max. Do you think there are more places like the Lost Valley out there? Max grinned. I think there are endless places waiting for us, and with Pippin by our side, we can find them all. Lily laughed, her heart light. To more adventures, then. Max nodded, and Pippin squeaked in agreement. And as they walked back toward home, the echo crystal glowed softly, and somewhere far behind them, 
in the heart of the lost valley, the echoes sang a song of hope, magic and friendship, a song that would forever be a part of their hearts.